Namaste. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I would like to say a big thank you for all of you who have been watching my videos, who have been supporting me by liking and subscribing. Thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. Now, today's video is about affirmations. We will talk about how I use the affirmations. We will talk about why they work and why sometimes they don't work for few people. Affirmations are powerful. Affirmations are useful. If you don't use the affirmations right, instead of getting what you want, there's a good chance you may get what you don't want. So you have to understand conscious mind and subconscious mind. Conscious mind is right now I'm very conscious of what I'm saying. When I'm talking to you, if I'm present, if I am aware, I'm using my conscious mind. Subconscious mind is recording everything that's going on at the moment. Okay, And subconscious mind is the mind that creates. So whatever you record in your subconscious mind by conscious repetition becomes your reality. It's as simple as that. So when you use your affirmations, if you don't feel your affirmation, for example, you say, I'm strong, I'm fearless, I'm harmless. If you say this, but there is no connect with your body, you don't feel it within your body, there's a good chance it may not be true for you. Okay, You may not be able to get stronger, uh, may not be able to get fearless or harmless. When you're using affirmations, if they can't go past your analytical mind into your subconscious mind, it's not going to work. So for example, if I, if I just keep repeating, you know, I am, I, am, um, I am the strongest, I am, I am ab abundant, I'm rich, but my analytical mind is telling me that's not true. You, you, you have outstanding bills, you, you don't have enough money in your bank account. So my analytical mind is dissecting everything that I'm saying. Basically, it's not piercing the, the armor of the analytical mind and getting into my subconscious mind. So this is not going to work. Let's talk a little bit about your brain waves. Right now, my brain waves are probably in beta. Okay. Then you, they, if you if you are a little bit calmer, they go to alpha, then theta, then gamma. When you are about to fall asleep, your analytical mind is nearly asleep or about to fall asleep. Okay. That twilight zone when you're about to fall asleep. If that time you can plant a seed by seed i mean affirmation if you say affirmation at that time it can pierce through your analytical mind because the layer is not there and it can be recorded into your subconscious mind what you believe is true for you if i if i say i'm beautiful but i i don't feel it that's not going to be true for me so you would like to use your affirmations at the twilight zone when your analytical mind or your brain is settling down or going to sleep. Your subconscious mind is primed to be programmed. Okay. So best time to use affirmations are just before you go to bed and straight after you wake up. Even before you get out of the bed, say your affirmation in, in the morning. Maybe you can pray to the universe that this is what you want. At the night when you go to sleep or about to go to sleep, you're in that twilight zone, you will feel that that has already been granted. Your affirmations have already come true. This is what you want to um, program into your subconscious mind. So before you go to bed, you want to feel that your affirmations have been granted. They have been fulfilled. They have come true. That way your subconscious mind will start working in that direction. From lack to abundance. From fear to fearlessness. From helplessness to hope. You can achieve all these just by using the affirmations in the right way. So once again, let me reiterate. When you would use your affirmations not when you're very active in your mind, but when your mind is trying to fall asleep just before the twilight zone when you're settled when you're calm or around meditations after meditation is a good time to use affirmation as well and then you just sit there for a few more minutes let it sink in for a person who is very busy during the day the best time to use affirmations is just before going to bed when you're in the twilight zone you're about to fall asleep just repeat your affirmation so the affirmations do work provided you do them correctly.
they will not work if you're just repeating it mentally but you're not feeling it in your body you must feel your affirmations in your body mind can think an affirmation but body must feel it if there is disconnect it's not going to work for you you need to go past through the analytical mind so that the affirmations or whatever you are saying can sink into your subconscious mind can be recorded into your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind will start creating it because right now what's happening is even if you pay attention closely your internal dialogue whatever is going on in your mind is what you are creating in your life if your internal dialogue is i knew it's not going to happen guess what it's not going to happen if your internal dialogue is yeah i want it but there's a good chance i may not get it guess what you won't get it because you want something but you're focusing on not having it or you you believe that you don't have it or you don't deserve it so first and get to the level either go past it and a little bit mind where you don't counteract whatever your affirmation is use the affirmation at a time when your mind is not as active it's calm maybe after meditations before going to bed or maybe after waking up when your mind is calm you when your brain waves are in theta or during the day when they're in alpha when you're nice and calm you use these affirmations during these times they will work wonders for you they have worked for me the best affirmation for kids and adults i'm strong i'm fearless i'm harmless i'm always looked after right things show up for me at the right time i am abundant i am a fearless so these are the kind of affirmations that i work with I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it.